watching Tim's Tiny Arcade, mother effer. Hey guys, Tim from Tim's Tiny Arcade. Today I want to talk about my game room. Uh, the last few years I've done like a walkthrough video of uh, what I have in my game room. I have it in a loft right now. I didn't do a video this last year um, on my game room because it's become very cluttered, uh, to be honest with you. I'll show you what we're looking at and then uh, show you what's going to be happening in the near future. So let's uh, take a look at the game room real quick. All right, guys, we'll kind of just start here in the game room. This closet here, um, in past videos, if you've watched any of my uh, arcade walkthroughs, I have a TV set up in there with an Atari 2600, an N64, and a ton of Funko Pops. But as you can see, I have uh, no room to even open that closet. I end up purchasing a Legends Ultimate, which I absolutely love. I just had nowhere to go with it. Along the perimeter, I have a lot of, uh, you know, your arcade went up, so I have a Multicade. Um, my gaming chair for playing my retro, or my, uh, like my Xbox and have a whole bunch of Atari games. I need a new, uh, I got so many Atari games. I need to uh, get a new shelf for that. And then a couple more arcade one-ups. And then uh, this is where I'll do a lot of my gaming and stuff. This has become a tower and I'm afraid it's gonna fall one day. Those are stackable um, crates, but uh, you know, it's kind of hard to get some of the games out. So I, I'd like to change that. Uh, down here, I've got a lot of uh, just miscellaneous stuff that I don't have anywhere to go with. So I really like to take the room that I just showed you and make it more um, like for my Atari. Uh, I have an Intel boxed in television. I've not, I've set it up one time, but I just have no room to play it. N64, a lot of my uh, older systems I would like to set up in this room. And what I wanna show you now is what I plan to do uh, in the near future, and you'll be seeing in uh, future videos. All right, so exiting my uh, game room, current game room, down the hall I have a room that's gonna be opening up. I have a daughter who's moving out, and uh, I'm gonna expand my game room into this room. Now, she's done uh, some painting on the walls already for me, and I just need to paint back in here, and I uh, think I'm gonna bring a lot of my arcade one-ups into this room and uh, go from there. And I got a lot of uh, wall art, as you can see, like in the last room, but I've got more. <laughs> and then uh, I have a TV like this still in the box. This is a 65 inch. What I plan on doing this room is uh, probably making this more of my arcade area and then um, my modern system hooked up to a 4K TV. So that's kind of the plan as of right now. A lot of this is going to be happening in the month of June, where I'll be uh, moving a lot of stuff into this room and uh, redecorating, so I don't feel so cluttered in that game room. All right, guys, so that was just kind of a quick look at, uh, quick update on my game room, since I hadn't done a video on my game room. Like I said, it's kind of a cluttered mess right now, but uh, there's going to be some big changes in the near future, and uh, I'm looking forward to it just to space things out, and uh, I'd like to get an iArcade also added if I have the space in there. Um, so as of right now, I would have no room to add anything in here. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Um, are you guys having issues with uh, space uh, in your game room or not? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, guys, keep on gaming.